Alright guys, we're back with some more Arena on PvE. We're trying out Smolder bread and butter, guys. I mean, shall we? Cheers, my friends. And then we go uh, ability haste. Alright, we're good to go, man. Cheers, my friends, guys. Bread and butter. How much cooldown does it have? 1.6 seconds. We're gonna get those stacks like crazy. It's gonna be insane. Huge. What does he have? Scopier weapons. Not bad. We are on PvE, so I have some ping. So the gameplay is gonna be a little bit cringe, right? 200 MS. But it's worth it because there's new items and everything. New items and augments. I think he's on 200 MS as well. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. Man, okay. Couple hiccups, but I think all across the board, pretty good. Pretty good fight. We'll take it. I don't play Smolder. But it's not that difficult, right? It's not a crazy difficult champion. It's very fun, though. I like it a lot. All right. Uh, we are going to go for the burn build, depending on our prismatic. There is some new prismatics, right? Prismatic items. We'll see what we'll get. Hopefully, we get something that is... Uh, that works well with the burn build, with Leandri's Shojin, because we have a ridiculously low cooldown on Q, so we can just spam that mother trucker. That's gonna be really fun. Alright, cool. Uh, Pantheon and this guy, what is this? Center of the Union? Oh, no, no, it can't be a prismatic if I have a gold orb. Okay, so the Pantheon is gonna be obviously annoying. Yes, Berserker Greaves, though. Good job. Not too shabby, guys. I'm pretty strong, I would say, huh? With this freaking bread and butter. So, uh, he just gets stacks of this dragon practice way faster on this game mode, of course. So, we're gonna stack super quickly. We're gonna be really strong here. Like, late game, Smolder is super powerful in this game mode. Demon King's Crown. I don't think we can go for that. Sort of the Divine and then go crit. Nah. Nah, I'm good, bro. Puppeteer, 30 ability power, 50% heal, attacks against champions, add stacks, at full stacks, berserk them, reduce the cooldown of this item every time you use a heal, shield, or buff ability, no. Divine Sunderer is fine, right? Divine is okay, right? Divine is, divine is very decent, I would even say. So that is fine, so we just don't go Trinity Force, right? We can only have one Spellblade effect. So we just don't go Trinity Force anymore, but that's fine. Steal your heart, Sion. Sion Alistair, full tank, garbage, annoying. Both of them just full tank. Okay, you already killed one of them. Easy. 
Ah, cool, man. Isn't Smolder fun? It's pretty easy as well. Usually the new champs are freaking... You require a... Uh, I don't know, man. You require all kinds of stuff to play them. All right. What do we get? What do we get now? Uh, Shojin, right? Shojin? Spear of Shojin first. And hopefully we're good to go. We max W second. We'll see if we get something new, right? From the new arena stuff. Hopefully we'll get something new. But if we don't... If we win the game with a full random teammate, that's pretty good, right? There we go, not bad. Your non-ability, your non-ultimate abilities gain 15 ability haste. Spell hits, grand stacks for up to your spell deals 3% increased damage for each stack. Very good. My Q cooldown is at 0.8 seconds. <laughs> that is pretty silly. I do so much damage, man. And then I'm gonna get the burn, the true damage burn on this. Crazy, guys. Oh, that's satisfying. He's doing really well, too. Navori Flicker Blade. He went Hamstringer into full crit. Giga Chad. Holy Giga Chad, man. Okay, and now we just go Leandris. And game's over, right? Cool. Nice, man. We're getting lucky. We're getting freaking lucky, man. Right, hopefully we get like a new uh, prismatic Ooh, augment. There's some crazy ones. <clears throat> Magic missile. Do they have anything new? No. 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 Nope. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Gain four sad angles. That's a new one. Your attacks grant you 10 move speed. Good, but like I'm queuing, right? I'm gonna reroll this. Your attacks grant you stacking ability power and your abilities grant you stacking attack damage. That's really good. Yeah, that's really good. Master of duality. Pretty insane, no? Isn't that really good? I think that's really freaking good, guys. Okay, we're against Sona and Misfortune, and they have not lost yet, because she never died. They are fully winning. Okay, I mean, there, there's no way. They didn't even ult well together. They just one-shot all of us. But I mean, he did just go all in. Ah, uh, it's kind of weird. Like, he went through the MF ult, so I can't really follow up. But I feel like this thing is just healing so much. I don't think we'll ever win against them. Put it here. That's a new item. Attacking a champion adds a stack for 5 seconds at 4 stack. Beat Berserk them for 2 seconds. You grant Berserk. You grant Berserk enemies an additional attack speed and move speed. What? What do you mean? Why does the tooltip always disappear every couple of seconds? Guys, what does Berserk... Berserk the enemies? Sounds weird. Why would you want to Berserk the enemies? Oh, they attack each other. Ah, oh, that's cool, guys. Ah, that's very cool, guys. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty cool. So uh, we are playing in Sona with Renata ult as well, for free, by the way. Okay. Awesome, guys. That sounds like it's going to be playable for us. Uh, he took an Omni Soul, okay. Cool. Uh, we're just going to go, what are we, what is our next item? Let me think about this. Do I just gamble for a Prismatic next? But I have no rerolls, right? I use all my rerolls. They have Gnar with full damage, perplexity, okay. 
And then they have a full tank, Maokai. Oh, that's gonna be annoying for me. Yeah, I hit my garbage though. Kill him before the guy arrives. Alright, cool. Very good. I got bum rushed, bro. I got so lucky flashing here. I did not predict his flash. I just dashed away, man. Uh, tenacity is not that bad, honestly, against these guys. But I mean, bro, lethality is lethality, right? Lethality is lethality, bro. It's a low roll, though, so it pisses me off, but it, it's fine. Uh, I'm down to just gamble for a prismatic if we can. But I don't know if there's any good ones, right? Oh, yeah, Hellfire Hatchet, yeah. Hellfire Hatchet, for sure, yeah. That is perfectly fine. Oh, he just burns me, bro. I just can't escape. Like, I'm so slow walking away. I'm so slow walking away from him. Ah, frick, man. How much health do we have? Oh, we only have 50 health left. Oh, frick. Oh, wow. Uh, we probably should have won this. I wish he would stop, like, just rushing in. He just walks in. No fricks given. He just walks in. And he's not tanky, right? He's very crit. He's not tanky at all. I don't think you should be just walking in, not caring about what's going to happen. Uh, okay, so we go fa Hatchet next, or Prismatic Gamble, if we have 4k, but I don't think we have 4k. Oh, we have nothing, we're getting this first. Your attacks reduce enemies' damage. As your partner dies, gain massively increased damage and only vamp. I think I'll do this, because like this guy is always dying first. <laughs> there has not been a single fight where he hasn't died first. Let me see how much uh, this is giving us. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, until the end of the round. Oh, I thought it's just permanent. I mean, it's fine, like, I get it. So we should play slowly, but he's playing very fast. So that is really bad. Oh, I hit him, it hit him. Nice. The, 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 the Jin ult hit him, do you see that? The Jin ult that was targeting me, hit him. <laughs> I was trying to aim for it, but it was lucky that it hit. Do, do we just gamble a Prismatic, man? We just gamble a prismatic. I have zero rerolls. Seems really stupid, right? If you got the money, yeah. Obviously, it's not a yeah, bro. Like, I feel like it's really stupid to gamble a prismatic. These guys are pretty tanky as well. Hatchet is perfectly fine. Hatchet is really good. And then we just buy these two. A lot of attack damage, a lot of ability haste as well, though. It's better, I think. Because we're getting an infinite attack damage. I'm gonna go magic resistance. I'm against singed. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Can we beat them? Oh, he has Wooglets. Oh, frickity frick. Oh, 
Holy freak. I am so broken now. I'm so broken now. I'm so freaking broken now. This is a max roll on this. I think we take this one. I think I'm gonna buy the, the, the thing again. Lethality. The magic pen is pretty high. It's maximum magic pen versus low roll lethality. I think I'll take the medium roll now. Okay, low roll lethality is so bad. But I mean, I don't really have a lot of magic damage except for Leandris. I think I'll just take the Omnibam. I think the Omnibam can come in clutch, right? Because at this point, I'm like, I can actually go toe to toe, uh, toe, -to -toe with like assassins and stuff. We're against Akali again. She kind of went crazy last turn. She has a lot of active items. Okay, I'm, I'm smurfing now. I'm like god mode now, no? I'm like freaking god mode on this little smolder, man. That's crazy. Q is magic and physical. Yeah, but look how much physical and how much magic, right? <clears throat> like, it's not even close. The ratio is crazy. Okay, now, now what do we do? What is our last item, guys? Do we go cleaver? Is it black cleaver? Is it, it's black cleaver, right? I think it's gotta be black cleaver. Perplexity, what is perplexity? I'm good, bro. What the frick is that? Holy frick, Twitch chat. Don't cook again. You almost got me, man. Holy freight perplexity. That was a jump scare, guys. <laughs> that was a freaking jump scare, bro. I mean, now we're just GG, right? We even beat these guys. They have like so much, like they're so freaking strong. But I countered them, right? I countered them. I have so much anti-tank stuff. Gain three stat anvils. When dropping below, heal for 30% max health over three seconds. I like this. I think this is pretty good. Edge of Night from TFT, frick it. Did Sona MF die? They did die. I don't know who they died to, but they died to other people. I don't think we would have ever beaten them, right? It's like a rock, paper, scissors thing. I don't think we would have ever beaten them. I have 300 dragon practice stacks. Dealing 10% max health true damage over 3 seconds. Below 6.5% total health get uh, are killed instantly. Holy shit, it's so cool. They surrendered. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that means they lost some, right? They didn't just win every fight and surrender. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't get their prismatic that they wanted. Something new or something. I mean, th there's no way the assassins beat the tanks, right? This is just the sad truth. It's just boring. That's just how this game mode works, no? The freaking squishies cannot beat the tanks unless you have anti-tank stuff like Smolder. Oh wait, they're kind of winning though. The Alkali is outplaying them hard. Oh, she dashed in, but she dodged Scion. Oh, look, she's so squishy, though. Oh, nice. She got booglets again. She's twisting their ankles, guys. Insane. <laughs> Insane. They twisted their ankles completely. Justice exists. Well-played assassins are beating the tanks. 
The problem is, that's bad for me, right? Because these guys can beat us. Okay, I don't- I, I think I'm just gonna spam the freaking things, right? I'm not selling boots. Am I selling boots? Or no? Am I selling boots, guys? For another- for another actual item? I mean, I could go Edge of Night, right? Or uh, Guardian Angel. That makes sense. Hi, right, cool! I don't really need boots to kite against these guys. It's not like I'm not gonna kite an assassin. She's gonna jump on me, I'm gonna have to just flash away and then just spam vomit the dragon garbage all over her. I'm gonna vomit the dragon juice all over her, guys. I wish she would vomit all over me. Nice! GG guys! We actually got first with a complete random on PBE! I'm surprised! Crazy! Good job, man! Good job, Mr. Aatrox! We'll take it, guys! Hope you enjoyed it as well! Subscribe!